Terminator, and so in this video, well, um, I, I paid off my fees, yay, from the last episode, and also, we now have $53,000, which is quite a bit, oh yeah, they changed that, you can, you now zoom in on where, um, your mouse is, so if you put your mouse here, you're zoomed in there, that's kind of nice. Or like it's more consistent like that. anyways yeah no fees uh, I just did a bunch of switching at the oil of central and I just did a bunch of switching so uh, yeah also I need to get rid of some of those and get rid of these. all right that's DV utilities this thing right here I'm not using it for this playthrough obviously but yeah. Why is there a new car here? It's just a tank car. Oh yeah, I wanted to test something. Whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, we have no fees, so we're gonna be buying two new uh, locomotives today. We're gonna be buying the 060 and the DM3. And here we go. So we've got the 060 and the DM3 now. So we can dunk those in the bear. And now we only have $3,000. But on the uh, plus side. Now, if we go to another industry, we might be able to go find ourselves a DM3 to use. Um, so yeah, I know I did also did some things over here at the farm. I did a few, I did a job there because it was really light tonnage and it was really easy to do and it was only like one drop off, so I just did it. When are we heading up to the forest, uh, central? I think this is called, I'm pretty sure it's called that. It should be called that. Yeah, forest central. Oh yeah, here's my house. Um, I'm honestly not sure why the house is here, and the textures are broken, so that's a good sign. Yeah, I have no idea why the house is even here. There is no point, but it's there. Yeah, that's where your house is, actually. Yeah, we're gonna be heading up here. These tracks are actually really bad, too. Like, that's a 30, that's not too fast. These are the 40s, though, so that's nice. That's a 40. It's a 50, okay. Are there any choo-choos? That is the question for today. Are there any choo-choos? There is a DM3. Okay, nice. So, we will, uh, redo that. Yep, there you go, the 420. And... <laughs> We're gonna be hopping in the DM3. So yeah, here's the DM3. Um, I've been messing around with this thing off, um, off camera a little bit, and I kind of like this thing now. It's pretty fun. So basically, we're going to do this. Also, I retextured the inside of this to be just purely light gray because I think it looks way nicer. set up all of these things. Alright. So here is the DM3. And the DM3 is pretty cool. So it basically walks like a manual car. But you have um, two gearboxes right here. And basically, I've been kind of mastering switching gears in the DM3 when accelerating. So you gotta look at your tachometer, and you got to switch gears appropriately. However, there's this fun thing that you can do, which is put the reverser in forwards, both of these go dunk, and then you can just rip the throttle, and you can go have fun. And it will kind of just walk, which um, is a thing. Yeah, you can go very quick, very fast with this thing. It's really nice. 
And also, like a manual car, if you downshift, then the engine speeds will spike back up, but then also you'll start slowing down. So if I bring it down a couple gears here, you can see my speedometer and the HUD mod is actually going down. And that's really fun. Um, I actually really enjoy doing that. It. It's fun downshifting. There you go. And then once you get down to a slow enough speed, then you just apply some independent and then you stop. Really nice. And also, if you leave the reverser in a direction, it will kind of just move. It will kind of like creep forwards. And apparently that's like an automatic car, where it just kind of creeps forward. Maybe you put the reverser in a direction, but I don't know. I put it in like forwards, I guess. Um, I'm probably just... You know what? Let's do some login jobs, frick it, even though we don't have a steam choo-choo, which, um, would be kind of appropriate for this. Our, oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need shunting. One pickup to the sawmill, three pickups to the sawmill. That's 285, that's 171. Where's the sawmill? All the way down there in the sawmill, sawmill. Alright. Uh, this pays the most money, so we'll just do the free pickups. Also, time bonus has not really done anything, so that's nice. So, we're picking up from, oh, every different yard. Or, no, just two. Okay, well, that's, that's fun. So, picking up from C and B, and I don't really know this industry, so we're gonna have to learn it. So, picking up these cars somehow in here ish. And. The engine stalled. The engine's not stalled. Okay, well. Okay, you can see if you're in a low enough gear, then when you try and rip at the notch 8, actually in this diesel it's notch 7, but if you rip the throttle, and you're in too low of a gear, your tachometer just goes But if you're in, you know, full, then you can burn it and it doesn't care, which is kind of nice. And you can just downshift. Although that's not actually a gear, whatever, just downshift. Then you have the park brake. Here you go, park brake, done, there you go. Also, that creeping with the um, with the reverser, it's pretty nice for um, coupling speed. It basically is like the perfect couple speed, so it's kind of nice. So this is the hey look the SL68. That's one of the um, jobs I had actually. SL68, nice. This is also a SL68. Yes, it is. So we dunk that one. Uh, handbrake is on this side, so instead we'll move it to this side. And what I've been doing with the um, oil well central jobs was just dump the angle cock, and then whenever you actually couple in, then you do all that stuff. Here's SL68. The ever car. And then we're picking up from B4. Four, which is over here, and it's this car, because it's the only empty one. Yes, I'm correct. So, is there a loop? Or something? Yeah, let's just um, go into free cam real quick. Is there a loop? So if we back in the bear, right, if we back in, then no. So we have to either pull back out and then go around or we pull out and then go back in, I guess. And then we're loading at B1. So we're staying in the B yard. So we're going to the C yard and we're going back to the B yard, I guess. 
so that's kind of the thing. So we'll heading from C and then transitioning over to the B yard, and then we'll staying in there until we have to put the cars away, and then the cars are going into C4, which is occupied. There, frick you. Alright, I'm going to uh, downshift. A few times, actually. And I can just do that once. Downshift again. Wait till it goes back to 80. Downshift once again. Shift up again. Yeah, I gotta ask my brother, or like my dad, because they both kind of walk on cars. I gotta ask them, or walk on cars, or have like a manual and all that. I gotta ask them, if you, um, if you have it in a higher gear, then does it, you know, that does it, um, that's the thing. If you have it in a higher gear, does it, you know. Does it roll better? Does it coast more easily? Uh, that's my next question. Brakes. Dunk. Alright, we dunked into the cars. Untie the handbrake that I moved over for convenience sake. And we can do a couple of things again. Put it in the full walls. Brakes charge, everything's fine, I guess. You also have to pay attention to the oil temp and make sure it doesn't get in the red, because if that happens, then you're really screwed. And you blow up the whole thing. You blow up the engine multiple times while learning the gears. Don't ask me how I know. It's, it's fine. Oh, jeez. Uh, take some air. Lap the air. Yeah, because the, um, the DM3 actually has a brake stand similar to the uh, Steam Choo Choo's. Throw the switch. Dump it into emergency. Release. Neutral backwards. And then let's see here. So you are already lined. You are now lined into the loop. Yes. Okay, lined into the loop. No, you're not lined into the loop. Now you're lined into the loop. Go around the loop. Bless you, Brandy. And you will do what? Yeah. Uh, pick up the car, and then load up. Also, if the um the 060 was here, I would definitely use that because I know the 060 can spawn at the forest central on like the smaller industries. The forest is considered like a smaller industry, even though it makes paper, which um you know paper, but you know whatever. I guess in Dira Valley, it just switch all the way to electronic. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. But, yeah. And I say, oh, uh, it makes paper because, you know, that's how paper is. That's how paper is made. It's made with trees. Um, so how is this considered a small industry? You get it? Anyways. Moving on. Yeah, like just like that, with a flick of a switch, you can change the um, change if the lights are you know, in reverse or whatever. Yeah, if I downshift. Okay, not that much. You don't want to downshift too much because if you do that, then you kind of screw it over. But if you downshift just a little, 
Because if your tax go really high, and the oil start, will start to um, get really, really toasty, and then you blow up the engine 57 times. Again, ask me how I know. I haven't blown up the engine yet on this save, so, you know, that's a positive. But I have on the OG save. Because whenever I updated to Simulator, the first thing I did on my original save, which is the one I was using in the live streams, one of the first things I did was basically just buy every new license, and that's about it. And I didn't really like the DM free at first, because I thought it was just really confusing and didn't really make much sense. But, you know, I watched videos, and the aforementioned, um, Brian, my brother, or slash and or my dad, um, kind of told me about that, those kind of things, car things, and they told me stuff, so, yeah. Alright, we're going to set up some air. And you know what, honestly, oh, whoa, did I dump it? Frick. No, you're not allowed to dump your brakes, you go fast. Isn't that your whole point, DM Free? What the frick? Anyways. Yeah, I understand the DM Free now, and I really like it. Because it's really fun to switch the gears and... I just, I just think it's fun to downshift and be able to stop, which is just how a car works, but it's kind of cool, because it's a choo-choo, it's just kind of nice, so yeah. Alright, head up to 9 kph, it's probably decent, coupling speed, it's honestly a little bit fast, so we'll dump this. Now, do this. Release the handbrake. And while the brakes recharge, I'm just gonna... You know, I don't actually think there's a bed in this industry, is there? Actually, there is. Normally, the bigger industries are the ones with the bed, so it's kind of surprising that the smaller one has the industry. But, you know, whatever. Apparently, they left the locomotive handbrake on because I saw the HUD update. But, whatever. I go to bed real quick, get rid of the handbrakes, and they switched off my diesel. Frick you. Back in the fall, it's highball go. <laughs> Speed and power! Although now that it has a load behind it, no, you, you could still just speed power. Power, speed, speed, power, yes, no. Okay. Oh, oh. Although this still isn't in uh, a tonnage at all, I think. 285, 114, no. I don't actually know what the tonnage rating on the um, DM3 is yet. I still have to kind of learn that. But, you know. Alright, real now lined in the B1. And also something I was doing at the oil well central was instead of dumping the angle cock, I would just unlace the air hose and then release it. I just find it a little bit nicer, a little bit easier. Come on, speed power, go beans. Speed power, go beans! Imagine they just had exploded boys at the forest. It's, it's fine. The only reason you would have explodey boys at the forest if something really, really terrible happened at the frickin' oil well central, a tank car just <clears throat> on over, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Also, whenever I was testing this thing out in that original save, um, it was pretty fun. Because I could go really fast, really quickly, and it was kind of fun. Uh, Alright, set up some air. I don't think I dumped it last time. I don't know why I did that. And trust me, I know how this brake stand works, but yeah, it's just a thing. I guess. I don't know. Throw into the 
Now we're going to load it up. And I don't know where that actually is in the forest. Because no one goes to the forest. Here we go. What? We need all the colors. SL68. Why aren't we... What? All the cars are here. What do you... Oh, it's free pickups. Wait. Oh, did I not? Give me a second. Honestly, we probably just want to keep backing out. Yeah, we just back out more. Just do that. Speed power beats. Well, this is a much heavier load, so maybe we'll put it in first gear. Okay, that's a lot of this slip. Okay. Wheels probably don't have a lot of fun with that one, but... That's it, you can see the shifting process and the gears. It's very fun. are getting a little spicy, but also we're going decent track speed, so I'll just, I'll just shut off. And then, for C4, well actually, the track ends. Okay, well I guess, well I guess we're just gonna shove into this and bury the DM3. Whatever, I don't, I don't care. Maybe I do care slightly, but yeah, but... Downshift. Just fully downshift, actually. And just fully downshift to the lowest gear. Yeah. Just like that. Quickly dump it real quick. I guess not. Never. Throttle again. Now for this one, we can't even go that fast anyways, so just free free, and then we'll just rip the throttle, I guess. It doesn't really matter how fast we can end up going, because for this, we only, we really can only go like 7 kilometers per hour. That's like it. Because if we go faster than that, then we'll a little bit speed. Whether that is speed, but you know, whatever. Actually, will this train just kind of fit in there? Because if it will, then I could just do some other things. I don't think it will. Oof. Hmm. Luckily, that didn't happen to the oil well whenever I was switching, but it could have. It's, it's fine. You know what I could do? I could throw that switch and then just run around it, but I guess we're not doing that. So yeah, we're just going to bury the DM3. And with the uh, other logging cars, I guess. Because, frick you. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. 
logging locos. No, no, no. Okay, well, these are zeroed. That is no brakes. That has no brakes. RVs, two separate jobs. H99, nope. Alright, well, um, okay. No, maybe not that much. Well, actually, yes, that much. Or downshift. Downshift by, like, a lot. There you go. Downshift. Throw it back in the highest gear again. Downshift. Just to slow down. Not because of any oil temp concerns. Just to slow down. We are approaching the cars. Oh dang, I was able to just... Oh no, it banged into them. Oh, that's, that's fine. We can just tie a handbrake. Here. Here, frick you. That's cool. Nice. Never untie the brakes. There you go. Put it in park. Put on the park brake. I think that's... <laughs> I think that's proper securement, and then fuel cut off. And then there you go. I think that's proper securement. It doesn't really matter. It's freaking zero value. I like how I fully engaged, like, every single type of brake on that entire locomotive and still didn't have time to figure out to, uh, grab the book. Also, good gracious, 70 minutes. This 14,000 though. That's actually not that um, bad. And that's also a really cheap fee, too. Nice. Nice, no fees. Alright, well, there we go. No fees. We have now obtained the DM3 and the 060. And, uh, yeah. Tallinator, signing out, bye, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, oh, it doesn't do it, when I upload.